It was the height of the rainy season and many forest areas were flooded. Many of the animals moved to higher grounds deeper in the forest, what made it not so easy to spot any wildlife from the river. Sometimes elephants crossed the river right in front of the boat. Suddenly, an ornate monitor was spotted crossing the river. Varanus ornatus is found in lowland tropical forests along near permanent water in western and central Africa. This is thus the ideal habitat for this species. It was first described as a subspecies of the Nile monitor, but later raised into a species rank. One difference which distinguishes this species from Varanus niloticus is the wider head. In the wild, the ornate monitor feeds mainly on insects, crabs, centipedes and small rodents. A smaller specimen was captured and documented. Capturing a monitor is not an easy task, and not without danger, as team member Loni McCaskill found out. The dwarf crocodile, Osteolemus tetraspis, is another inhabitant of these wetlands. These are solitary crocodiles that reach about one and a half meter. They feed on smaller vertebrates, larger invertebrates and crustaceans. Although mainly nocturnal, some were captured and documented during daytime. All animals were later released at the location of capture. The team headed back to camp since the next day an early departure from Akaka to Luango base camp was scheduled. Loni did his laundry on the boat to appear clean and crisp on team members Guy van Hagen's birthday that was celebrated that evening. <laughs> 